By the way, if this was Chaos Chaos Mine, we would unironically win this game. Happy New Yo, Year. Frost, thanks for some months. Welcome back. The Frost. It's Ghost Kha'Zix. All right, time to continue my ruthless aggression. Oh, dude, I forgot to get energy. I forgot to get a caffeine drink. I'm going to be low energy, Andy. It's okay, I can get an X-Champ select. Torch Seal skin worth the money? Oh, I think so. It's really smooth animations. I don't know if you like it based on looks. Some people do, some people don't. I think it looks alright. But the animations are sweet. I like tool. Yeah, of course. Uh ha, ha, ha. put a ward on you and time for ruthless aggression era 2.0. Trying to be ruthlessly aggressive towards a Kha'Zix is kind of a double-edged sword, but we'll we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. And we're getting to it immediately. We're not going to delay that bridge at all. The first part of this journey is going to be crossing the bridge. It's just how to outplay Kha'Zix. I teach you how to outplay every jungle. It's called Star Raptors into Punish Enemy Topside. Nice. You only got watch for me. Smite his first camp, that's funny. And I invaded all of his camps. Go to use his ghost. Where would he go? You run straight to my bot side or something? I have no idea. Let me check my red real quick. Oh, I did go to my red. What the fuck is this? Huh, I had a feeling. Well, I mean, he kind of leaves his entire bot side vulnerable now, so don't I just invade all this? I'm going to, so we'll see. See, this is where, like, I kind of want to break the perm invading and look for a gank, because, like, this is two free kills, right? Oh, that was not two free kills at all. I mean, they both died, though. Time to go farm. You get you and you. Brother man's got no smite, so we are vibing. No ghosts either. I like a quarter of my orbs. Pretty good farm. Seems looking pretty free for me, boys. If I wanted to, I could go invade his raptors again, but he went D-blade early on, so he's trying to be aggressive. 
The, I could easily counter anyone's early D blade purchase by just like lowering my pressure and my presence. Oh man, Katarina. Yeah, I don't really want to go down there just because uh, that's more down there. I get kind of rolled. Sometimes it's better just to like farm because I'm same level as bot lane. As a jungler, you should always strive to be like a level higher than bot lane. If you're not, then you're not very strong. As, 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 I mean, as long as you're playing like Kane, like someone who's like weak early game. Um, if you're playing like an Elise, you could be whatever level in gang or Rek'Sai. Depends how good your setup is. Nice. Not bad at all. Put the ward here too. Kha'Zix should be at those Krugs. And I put a ward on that. So I'm really ahead in CS. So that at the core of my eye. All right, I'll get my top side camps now. I could maybe look for a blue invade. We'll see. Are you going for the dragon? What? Level five Kha'Zix dragon solo with no flash. I mean, I'm not really sure why he'd do that because he's already behind and he's like, he needs to catch up in golden XP. I mean, he did it with his bot lane, so it didn't take him that long. It's not like it took him forever, but. Look for a top gank here. They are level six right now. Hmm, that sucks. No, for sure we just killed that guy. NT, NT. Now he's soloing Rift. It would have been such a good play if we got that kill on top for free. Hey, Meteos, so great to see you're still streaming. Dude, what? I'm not Meteos. Probably will max Q and just go blue for him. I mentioned earlier that I did want to go blue for him into their team. Seems pretty ideal. Nice. Huge. That should give me blue for him, right? Oh. Thank you. Oh, I was scared because if I fought Katarina there, I actually would have got my red for him. And that would have been really bad. Yeah, we're fun. We're fun. Probably could have dove. I just wanted to back up here, to be honest. I just wanted to play safe.
He ghosted there too. He's he's fuming. He didn't get nothing. All right, I'm really strong. That was a good play. That was a really good play that we were able to squeeze in there. I should probably just try and kill Tom Kench now, because getting that treasure under stack is just going to get harder and harder as time goes on. I don't think he would go for an invade in my blue, but just in case he does, I'll go to Fendo. My lane's in a really volatile state as again. I have my ult here as well. Oh, this is maybe really good. We'll see. Oh yeah, it is. It is huge. Wait, are you serious? Oh, dude, I thought I just one shot there. Nice, good snipe. That's a good job. Ever take water walking over gathering? Nah. I tried it, it's just not as good. I think it's top wave here. God, I'm so sad I didn't get the kill on Milio there. So bad by me. What if I can find Kha'Zix in his jungle farm in his camps? Almost, almost. I could get a Wolves in blue here though. Shove that in real quick. Not trusting that shit again, dude. I'm ulting that guy, even if he's 1 HP. He will die. He will 100% die every single time. I'm not trusting it anymore. Uh, There's a TP right here. Zone Katarina. <laughs> but I go in there. I 100% die if I go in there. Okay, nice. Oh, huge. Christ, dude. That was huge.
Catted flash. Okay, my top side. I really thought I could just kill Katarina there, but I could not. I could have lived if I got on her and I killed her, but or she had flash. Go for a rift. Uh... I was gonna meet this guy. Huge. Yeah, once you get items, I could actually like do a lot. Uh... It's a serpents game? Uh, let me think. I don't think so. Not really. Like, yeah, they have Tom's shield and Milio's shield, but it's nothing, like, too worrisome for me, personally. Maybe just an Axiom game. Play to kill, uh, Katarina. Kha'Zix went Umbral as well, so I could probably, probably look to kill him. Not a bad idea, to be honest. To kill the Kha'Zix. Kha'Zix. Okay, Tom is coming. Okay. We could probably just start it.
Nice, not bad. Not bad, not bad. Surprised Kha'Zix stayed alive that entire fight. Well, I don't think he really did anything besides, like, at the end there, killing Galio. Still, though, pretty surprised he, he did all that. Uh, maybe he's on my top side right now? Plus Whisper here should be good. That's like actually one of the few fights where Axiom Arc was actually used how people would think it's intended to be used by using your ult multiple times in a fight. Most of the time it's not actually used to use your ult multiple times in a fight. It's just used so you can make plays faster. Because every time you have your ult up you can make a play so you're able to make a play faster. See, see that the CD is lowered. But um... I actually wound up using my ult twice in that fight and it was really really important. He could have maybe got Dragon if I didn't have my second ult. Then again, I, I guess if I figure if I if I would have went Serpents, I would have killed Tom Kench regardless. So maybe it's just hope. J legs. Playing like blood split here is not a bad idea at all. Oh, that was scary. Uh... That was even more scary. Get out of here. Woo! I know there's been a lot of shenanigans in the top side of the map, but look at how much Clud has actually got done for us. Jesus. That guy was crazy trying to 1v1 me. I mean, I get why, because it's Kha'Zix, but like, still. Ooh. Is this song from Burnout 3 or something? Remember it from Burnout 3, do you?
Remember this song from Burnout 3? This is my favorite song on Burnout 3. One of my favorite games of all time. The game was sick, dude. One of the best racing games out there. Add a Need for Speed Most Wanted, baby. I used to love those racing games. Dude, I feel like I'm going to be one of those older gamers that gets a wheel and has, like, their own setup and just, like, drives around. I'll have my own, like, video game car setup. Sounds way more chill. Get him! Nice. Jeez. GG's!